Kristen Kelly Katsouras. Good evening. First off, I would like to welcome all in attendance this evening. Our beloved Ursula and sisters, the administration, faculty, benefactors, alumni, parents, students, and friends. Thank you all for making today possible. My name is Kelly Katsouras, and I'm a proud graduate from the Ursula class of 2022. It is with a sincere sense of gratitude and satisfaction to have the privilege to return to Ursuline, my seven home for seven years, so that I may provide some heartfelt insight and perspective on my incredible decade of the 2020s. Without question, every decade of students at Ursuline shared a consistently rewarding, challenging, and life-changing experience by attending the Ursuline School over the 125-year history. With that said, undoubtedly, most would agree that from the very start of my decade, in the winter of 2020, Ursuline faced a challenge like no decade before. Due to the global pandemic, not only did the environment of Ursuline change, but arguably the world as we all knew it. What more challenging of an experience could there be than COVID-19 to test the foundation and commitment of our school community? Ursuline needed to maintain for its students the life of all its students for while simultaneously balancing a responsible academic operation in a vortex of uncertainty. Indeed, it was no small task, and perhaps one of the greatest challenges to face our school to date. In typical Ursuline fashion, the 2020 decade started off with boisterous enthusiasm. Some could even say it started with an elevated level of forward-thinking growth, expansion, and prosperity, most particularly through the announcement of the incredible innovation campaign. At the end of the 2019 school year, Students and faculty filled the Tully family gymnasium with rigor, optimism, and unity to experience our masterfully talented faculty band perform an impressive music selection leading up to the big announcement of the never-before-seen innovation campaign. The smiles, the laughter, the utter happiness that filled the room was explosive and so very fulfilling. We were all together as one united school community to close off the school year in body and spirit to share the great excitement of what was to come. In light of such social exuberance and festive gathering, who could have ever predicted that this beautiful event would mark one of the last times we'd all be together in person as a community for approximately 18 months. Diligently, Ursuline was one of the first schools in our area to cease in-person learning due to COVID-19 concerns. It was in some sense unimaginable that our typical daily experience of being surrounded by the smiling faces of our friends and teachers while in classrooms, during our activities, sports and social events would be no more. Those fundamental supports were now to be substituted by mere electronic visuals and words delivered through small digital screens. It initially appeared nearly impossible, not only to learn the same coursework through the limited medium of just a computer, but more significantly, how are we to replicate the priceless human connection, critical human relationships, support, and camaraderie that we grew to take for granted and upon which we were so dependent on now had to exist without the basic element of human contact. While initially appeared bleak, unusual, and even impossible at times, in typical Ursuline fashion, the school, the people, and the spirit of unity prevailed, despite any obstacles and against all odds. Thanks to the commitment of the remarkable Ursuline faculty, administration, and staff, the heart and soul of our education and our community came alive again, just a bit differently. A modified class schedule was announced, streaming programs such as Google Meet and Zoom were utilized, online textbooks were distributed, Ursuline came together to create a seamless system, a truly remarkable, safe, organized system that incorporated not only just academics, but extracurricular activities, social events, and spiritual growth. We initiated various club meetings through Zoom, followed at-home sport workouts, and even had virtual retreats. Everything was truly designed in such a thoughtful, innovative, productive way, which I am confident was motivated by an unyielding determination to keep all that Ursuline is alive. One of my favorite components of my family life growing up was honoring and respecting so many wonderful traditions. Coming to Ursuline, I so appreciated how the Ursuline community showed the same allegiance to tradition. The school was always committed to preserving the beautiful and meaningful Ursuline customs that were a foundation for keeping the school and its community united in both celebration and joy. While the pandemic understandably made keeping up with these traditions a great challenge, so many events had to be reimagined like never before, and they were. Through the incredible commitment, creativity, and love from the entire administration, determined to keep so much intact and keep the Ursuline spirit alive, the pillars of our school, such as Mrs. Davidson, Dr. Melanick, Mrs. Lynch, Mrs. Byrne, Mrs. Moore, Ms. Suma, and so many more, truly stepped up to the challenge. 
They did it for us, the students, to keep our cherished traditions alive, however they responsibly could. Yes, of course, they look different in various ways, changing as life tends to dictate. Ring Day 2020 was initially a car parade, then was rescheduled to graduation week in the spring. The 2021 Mother's Auxiliary Fashion Show was pre-recorded and shown virtually to the many spectators. The 2021 Father-Daughter Dance was just open to seniors and with masks. Nevertheless, the memories made were unforgettable. The spirit that created these beautiful events was created alive. And most importantly, an appreciation developed that despite any level of challenge or adversity, where there is a will, there is a way, and the Ursuline community prevailed. Even outside of school, Ursuline students remained connected. While I was learning completely virtually and hybrid for almost a year and a half, the depths of our friendships enabled us to find creative and safe ways to keep our bonds alive. Whether it was scheduling FaceTime calls to study together, watching movies through a streaming service, or meeting outdoors to chat, we stayed connected, we stayed close, and we appreciated the bond and support we had with one another. I grew to focus not on the loss of my time at Ursuline, but rather the depth of my connections and friendships that proved to be timeless. The foundation of our friendship would and did survive just about anything and developed with a deeper sense of connection, care, and compassion for one another. Fast forward to 2022, my graduation year, all thankfully began to feel pretty normal again on the outside, but even better on the inside. Yes, we still had to wear masks for most of it, but Ursuline felt like it once did again. We were having lunch together, walking to classes, hanging out after school in the new study spaces, and of course, celebrating our senior year. We decorated our parking spots, had a traditional mother-daughter breakfast, our ring day, the father-daughter dance, the fashion show, prom, and graduation. All of these milestones of celebration were not only wonderful, but beyond expectations. Ursuline was back together in person, stronger than ever before. We stayed bonded, our friendships were stronger, and the sisterhood we had together survived perfectly intact, without a blemish. But most significantly, we gained something that I believe was likely unique to our decade, and undoubtedly priceless. We gained a persistence to never lose the connections that were so pivotal in our life, and to never give up on preserving what is so important in our lives, even if it doesn't look or feel the same. No level of adversity or change can take away the real human connections, the real human spirit, and the real human support that were so overwhelmingly gained, not only at Ursuline, but buried away in our souls, as we left these halls and went out into the world, will remain with us forever. Now that me and my classmates are off on new paths, our paths back home, to each other and to Ursuline, are etched away in our lives in a way that I know will keep us bonded forever. Ursuline has shaped us all in such remarkable and immeasurable ways, so much so that, aside from my family, I consider my Ursuline family one of the greatest gifts I've ever received in life. Thank you all for this honor of allowing me to share my experiences of a decade and a school that I will cherish forever.